A fluid bed operator is responsible for several complex pieces of equipment performing various types of granulating, drying, and coating. Today you will receive an introduction to high shear granulation using a growl, top spray granulation and microencapsulation using an FLN 300 fluid bed, rotor tangential layering using a multi-60, and Worcester coating also using a multi-60. The growl or high shear granulator consists of a large stainless steel product bowl, with a three bladed impeller, and a smaller set of chopper blades. Ungranulated material is added into the product bowl for processing using the drum lift. From the control panel, press the bowl up button to raise the product bowl. Once the product bowl is in place, press the mixer low and chopper low buttons to slowly begin mixing the dry ingredients according to the manufacturing instructions on the batch sheet. Once the dry ingredients have been mixed sufficiently, the binding solution is added to the growl at product specific rates and time. Purified water may also be added to aid in granulation according to the batch record. The material will need to be granulated in order to continue on throughout the manufacturing process. Granulating is the process in which powder particles are adhered to one another to form multi-particle aggregates. Granulation is done to prevent the segregation of the material during different stages of production, to improve the flow properties of the mix, or to improve the compaction characteristics of the mix. Since the powder is physically forced together, the agglomerates formed in the high shear mixer are harder and more dense than in the fluid bed agglomeration process. The choppers are used when the moist mass is formed in order to break up the mass to produce a bed of granulated material. The mixing continues until the desired granule size and density is achieved according to the validated product parameters. The Growl High Shear Mixer measures kilowatts in order to determine the density of the product. Kilowatts are a unit of power equal to 1000 watts. They are used to measure the amount of power it takes for the impellers to maintain a certain RPM during the granulating process. The endpoint is determined via the power consumption used by the impeller. Overgranulated or undergranulated material will cause additional problems throughout the manufacturing process and could lead to the loss of the entire batch. Upon completion of the granulation process in the high shear mixer, the discharge tubes are then installed the discharge valve is opened and the impellers and choppers are started to assist in the discharging of the product into the FLN 300 fluid bed on the floor below for drying. 